Hi everybody, I'm Mike McCracer. I'm just kind of hanging out back here at the fire pit. Today I'm going to do something that I've been wanting to do for years. I'm going to show you how to taxidermy your crawfish at home. You know, uh, we have a company, we make crawfish traps that are built and designed to catch the biggest crawfish. People can't even believe how big a crawfish we get. We get some crawfish that are massive and we're going to show you how to taxidermy it. On our, uh, our show, The Creaster Show, um, we always have crawfish taxidermied uh, at our at where we're doing our videos and people always ask the questions are those props are those real and you know what they are props but they are real they're all taxidermy my son and I just we were catching so many and a picture wasn't good enough we didn't uh, go find out anything we just kind of made it up as we went now before I show you what you need and how to taxidermy the crawfish, let's go down to the Craster cabin where we shoot our videos and let's do a flyby on some of the crawfish that are already taxidermied. Those crawfish are pretty neat, aren't they? When they get all taxidermy, you can make them in any pose you want. Um, quick, uh, quick little story here. The reason I'm taxiderming today is uh, my buddy Justin caught this huge crawfish. It's uh, it's placed right now in the international big claw competition. Um, the claws on this are three and three quarters inches. I'm going to take this. I'm going to mount it. And then I'm gonna show you how I do it. I'm gonna put it on a piece of driftwood and I'm gonna surprise him with it so he can put it on his wall. Something to be pretty proud of. Now, uh, a couple of things you're gonna need is to do this at home is I have a couple different sizes of nails. I'll show you what I'm gonna do with those here in a little bit. Of course, a hammer for the nails. I've got some super glue. I've got some salt. That's really important. And then I've also got um, some uh, clear enamel that we're gonna spray the crawfish when, when they're all done. I also have, you can have anything long and pointy. I have a skewer and I'm gonna use this to kind of dig some of the crawfish meat out here in a little bit. Now, let's, uh, let's get on with the first step. Okay, here we go. The first step is you're gonna take all the meat out of the crawfish, or at least most of it. Um, first thing we're gonna do, oh yeah, you're gonna want scissors or kitchen sears also. Um, first thing that I do is I take the crawfish and I just cut it right down for the very end of the tail and I just cut it right up the middle and then you cut right between its legs and the whole thing just comes right open just like that now what you do is you just start peeling the meat out and that's where that's where something sharp comes in handy I like to just split the tail a little bit make sure not to break it but you can just start pulling out the meat. You can see the meat starts coming right out, right up towards the top. See that big old chunk of meat? That's actually good crawfish meat right there. No wasted meat, right? All right, so by the way, before we started, we did cook these crawfish. So um, just have them in a regular boil, but save the good ones. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up and take everything out of inside. But I'm gonna run into the cabin really quick and I'm gonna do that. You just wanna start up at the top with your skewer and you just pull everything out. And I like to run it underwater while I'm doing that. As soon as I'm done with that, everything will be out of the body cavity. I'll be right back. All right, after you get all of the meat out from inside and everything that's inside the crawfish, you, uh, now we're gonna, very simply, now we need to get the meat out of the claws. So we're gonna do this and I'm gonna show you a real close up of how I do that. Okay, the next step is, is you wanna, on the underside of the claws, you wanna just poke a hole in, real careful not to bust the, the crawfish claw, but you wanna poke the hole with your knife, make a hole, and then, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start digging the crawfish meat out of the claw. I like to, I like to use either some sharp or I actually like to use toothpicks. But you can see all that meat comes out of there. Oh, it'll take you a couple minutes per claw, but uh, just how you do it. Now, there's also, on these really big crawfish, there's also meat in this joint and up in here. So, I like to poke a hole in here and also 
take the meat out of both of those parts. All the, all the little claws, you're not gonna have to take the meat out of the little claws. They're gonna dry up just fine. So, we're gonna continue to take the meat out of the claws, and then we'll show you what's next. Okay, now we got the meat out of the claws, out of the body. Now, simply, all we do is just everywhere where there used to be meat, just pour in a little salt. That'll dry it all out in the body cavity, even the little holes you did on the on the pinchers. I usually put quite a bit inside the body cavity, and then I kind of shake it, and it goes all over. And then, all right, this is when it starts getting fun. You get to you get to start designing how you want your crawfish to be. Now, I like to do I like to have the claws out pretty far, so I take a nail and. I'll put it in my board. Now I'll put the crawfish claw on it. These are gonna perfectly dry in the position that you make them in. So then I look and see where I want my other claw. Yeah, I want it about right there. Then put that claw on there. And then the other littler nails, they kind of hold the legs out, just get them in the position. You don't have to get too crazy with it, but it's fun to make them look nice. This is a big crawfish. The other crawfish, I'm gonna put the put the salt in, get him all going. The salt kind of cures everything up, kind of everything that's wet won't be. Now, one more claw here. This is just a big old one claw right here. So I'm gonna have to put him on here and then I'm gonna have to kinda mount him the way I want. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna skip ahead 10 days because these are gonna dry in the exact position. I'll show you a picture here when I'm all done but uh, with, with this process. But what we're gonna do is 10 days, just let them dry and then they'll be all dry and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna finish up, but for you it won't be but a second. I'll see you in 10 days. All right, I'm back. And uh, this is the next step where it starts getting kind of easy. So what you do is you just take all the nails out around your crawfish where it's holding it in. And your crawfish is gonna be just perfectly dried and in exactly the shape that you had put it in. Once you remove all the nails, this is where it gets fun. Your crawfish is all solid. It's still a little bit fragile. We're gonna do a few things to, to make it better. A couple things, you can take the toothpicks out of the claws. You see they're gonna stay right there. I also take a paper towel and dampen a little water and just clean off a little of the excess salt on the outside. The next thing we're gonna do is uh, clean as much of the salt out of the claws and inside as you can. Then we're gonna spray them down and use a little bit of uh, super glue just to make it super solid. Okay, next up when I've got about all the salt off of my get, I like to go and put some super glue kind of on all these little joints. Just kind of make sure that they're kind of super stable because uh, they're a little bit fragile, but if you put this glue on them, they'll last a lot longer. I like to put it on all these little joints. Which makes them so solid. There. Next up, we're gonna take them over and we're gonna put some of this clear enamel on it. All right, now I've already sprayed the underside with this enamel and now this is when the crawfish start getting really pretty. This is when you spray the top. They turn that bright red, kind of glossy. And uh, they just let it dry. And then the next step is I'm gonna mount it on a nice piece of driftwood uh, to present it to my buddy Justin. 
All right, so uh, as the crawfish are drying with the enamel on them, uh, I found this nice little piece of driftwood floating in the lake, and it's all dried out. I'm gonna cut it. It's gonna make a really nice backdrop to, to mount uh, that crawfish on. Straighten that out, look at that. That'll look really nice. I'm gonna put a couple attachments on here, mount the crawfish to it. It's gonna hang right on the wall, just like that. Okay, I'm back in the shop and uh, I've just put in a couple of nails here is all I've done. I'm gonna take the Justin's crawfish and where the hole is on the pincher, I'm just gonna put it right into that nail and then I run that right down to the body and look at that. That just holds it perfect. It's all mounted. I, uh, I went to Home Depot and I got a couple just of these just little hangers. So I'm gonna hang that up and I'm also gonna show you another project I'm working on. Um, but I'm gonna hang this up and Justin's coming by tomorrow to go fishing and I'm gonna, I'm gonna present this to him and see what he has to say. Um, I'm gonna hang this up back here. I'll probably hide it tomorrow so he doesn't see it right away. So hang that up on the, on the wall hangers there. And another little project I wanted to show you that I've been working on. I've got a taxidermy brown trout and he's chasing a crawfish. I made that crawfish so it's just like swimming away all naturally. I caught this brown trout in a river called the Gallatin River. You may have seen a little movie called A River Runs Through It. This fish came out of that river. I caught it um, and I just thought that was a really neat mount. There's so many things you can do with the crawfish mounts. Um, you know what? Uh, I can't wait till Justin comes over to present him with the crawfish. Um, he'll be over here in just a little bit. All right, I, I'm back in the shop, and Justin, come on in. How you doing, man? Good. How are you? It's good to see you. I just shot an episode, and I just taught everybody how to taxidermy their crawfish at home easily. Oh, cool. And so, yeah, it was really neat. I wanted to show you something I made. I just made this brown trout. And check that out, what do you think of that? I like how you got the crawfish swimming away in its natural habitat. Yeah, browns love to eat crawfish. And so I just thought that was a real unique, unique mount. I'm gonna put that up in the cabin. And then I have another thing that I made that you might just like. Remember you're on the Snake River and you caught a good sized crawfish and you brought it to me? Yeah. Taxidermy it. This is yours right here, man. Oh man, that turned out really good. Isn't that neat? Look at that. Big old claws. I like how big the body design and the shine. Oh, it's cool. big. And this is neat. I've got wall mounts on it. And then also you could set it up in your office too. It's made so it can stand up like that or go on the wall. But uh, hey, you know what? Uh, now that you know how to taxidermy crawfish, have fun with that at home. I'm glad everybody was interested. And if you like this video, like this video and uh, subscribe to our channel. Everybody out there, we'll catch you later.